So I thought I'd just do a um, little video on um, models again this time because I haven't done a f video on, on models for a while now. Um, I know there's been more of like the gardening business and other stuff. But um, seeing as so Dad um, will have been clearing out my granddad's house because if he passed away earlier on this year still at it at the minute but um dad brought home some different playing models from back when he was younger that he actually put together himself but as you can see um he did it a bit roughly and didn't paint them or anything um he just actually glued them together in a fashion and um, then stuck the transfers on and then just left them and he was like oh I don't know what to do with these because if he was gonna probably scrap them I was like no well I'll um do them up and uh, see whether I can get them looking okay because if they're models that a lot of the planes I haven't got a model of at the minute anyway which would be nice to get a few different ones in the display so yeah he uh, he had actually painted this one but then I went over it because he only painted the top um, and he'd done it in some funny sort of camouflage and I was just like I'll do it in this it's not true to sort of the spec but it looks all right as it is now because if i didn't really want to paint gray over the top of what he'd done um yeah he then i oh, then painted the bottom instead of it just being the gray um plastic so this one as well seemed to keep tipping over don't know whether he put the wheels on the wrong way or god knows what that's why that little sticks in the bottom so it actually stays now up on all three wheels instead of tipping up its nose in the air and yeah then I managed to find some transfers on the um, eBay just to get that one finished that's done now um, that is the Um, it's the Douglas Skyhawk, that one. Um, yeah, I'll put the transfer on the bottom, it tells you what it is. So, yeah, that one's finished. Then over here, partway through being painted, nearly done. Just need to stick a new front wheel on it and touch up uh, and paint some of the details and do, and obviously, neaten up the edge between bottom and top that is the Messier Smith ME262 you see the jet engined version and also halfway through being painted because I started doing this one as well I'll stick it over here actually because the camera picks it up better um, this one is the Armstrong Whitworth Hawk, a Seahawk, and um, yep, yeah, that's halfway through being painted as well. Obviously, got another stick in there, need to put the front wheels on that because these ones were tipping over on the backs as well. That one was too. Um, so yeah, that's that one. And then we've got, oh I did paint, I'll start painting the bottom of this one, it's only rough. We've got Spitfire, or I see twin seats, and this one has them on the bottom, and the machine gun cannons on there 
but obviously this one, so now I'm flying mode because I've already did it. And I'm pressing that blade on the propeller. And one of the exhausts is a bit wonky. Obviously that window is a bit shit, but oh well. Kind of keeps focusing on other stuff and keeps messing up this video a bit. Obviously when we've got the Harrier, um, I do have one of these already um, put on a display and a bit of a better design than this because it's a modern up to date one. This looks a bit crude to be fair with how it's been done but uh, oh well, that's what it is. Oh. Turn it up, get some new transfer stuff on that. That one seems a little right other than the bent nose. I mean, some of the bits that are stuck on a bit dodgy, but oh well. It's like the Spitfire, I've already got a couple of them, but not with the back window, not with all the bits on the bottom, and this is a slightly bigger version, like scale, with what I've got. And then. We've got the Hawker Hunter sat here. This one's missing well off of that leg, the complete leg over there, and I managed to pop the wheel back out on that bit. Um yeah, I don't think too much else of this is too bad other than I think one of the guns is missing on one of the other side. But it's not too bad. See, they're the Mr. Smith ones that I've just brought. Some of the Armstrong Whitworth's ones are coming from eBay too at some point. Then I just need to sort out it was for the other ones, whether I use some spare ones I've got here, or whether I go and find the exact same ones online. And then all those guys over there are part of a ground crew kit that I'm doing at the minute for the Osprey that's upstairs um, on the shelf. I thought it'd be nice because I've got the crate with the batteries to run the lights in. I thought it'd be good to then have a complete spray with all the men around it doing what they need to do. There's a couple of trailers with air compressors and fueling things on and fire extinguisher and some chucks for the wheels. So yeah, well, it's like, might as well do a little display with them. Make it look a bit better. But then obviously all these look kind of long, so I'll start doing them as well, because men can be a bit fiddly to do. And it will just be trying to find space to put all these new planes, because I'm running out of shelving space again. So yeah, that is pretty much it for that. Um, they're all the same models. They're the men. That's what we're doing at the minute with the models. And then I've got a bike upstairs as well that I'll show you in another video. That is pretty big as well. I don't know where I'm going to stick that. But a friend gave it to me, and it is such a good model. I've been busy just sticking sort of new parts on it that had either fallen off or broken, like the indicator with a loose chain. Um, the wing mirrors weren't on it properly, so um, I actually got them and stuck them on it, and. Um, yeah, I think that was about it for that, other than the case needs some sorting out. But that's going to be a bigger project, or if not, a bigger cost, because the case costs so much separately for itself. But, yeah, I think I'll show you that in another video. That's the models. That's all them done. I'll probably show you them when they've got them all painted and they look a bit different. Anyway, so 
Thanks for watching.